Real estate is a precious commodity, and not all of us have space to have a dedicated bar built into our kitchen. So here to show us how to create your own DIY at-home bar with an ingenious IKEA hack, our DIY expert Kristen Coots. pregnant but creating a bar for us so thank you so I'm much. I'm counting down that's what this is it's anticipation. <laughs> Beautiful before and after so it's all about the bar cart mm -hmm. you know you've gone from a bar cart to something that is actually a beautiful furniture piece in your home. We don't always have the space for a full bar and right. I find that bar carts they can be very expensive yes. and creating something like this is pretty much the same cost as getting a bar cart. Absolutely. But you're getting so much more bang for buck. Yeah. And bar carts can be really boxy this way. Yep. This we're actually building vertically, so you're actually saving some real estate, which is nice, and some square footage, which is great. I think that it is so stunning. And when you see that this started as this, yes. like what a beautiful transformation. So this is the original, it's an Ikea bookshelf. Oh, so it's nice. supposed to be used for books, but I think it's better with some wine, you know? Yeah. So, so we started with this bookshelf, and this is where we're ending up. It's not done yet. We're going to finish it together. Nice. Um, but what I started by doing was painting it. So I did yep. a couple of coats of primer. Mm -hmm. So use a foam roller so you don't get any of those brush marks or anything like that. Yeah. A couple of coats of primer and then a couple of coats of paint. Mm -hmm. So this beautiful blue that we did here is called North Sea by Benjamin Moore. Stunning. It matches my kitchen. So yeah. it's, uh, it's really nice. You can do it where you're matching the furniture in your home. You're matching your kitchen. Or you can do something for like a pop of color if you want a little bit of contrast in your home. Yep. So you can do whatever you'd like with it to sort of fit your personality and fit your style. It's a beautiful color and your kitchen's gorgeous. So this <laughs> works perfectly. So we've painted it, you've primed it, you've painted it. Now what's our next step? So we can see that I've added a bit of a tile look at the back here. Yeah, it's nice. So this is actually a peel and stick tile. Okay. So I know you did a sort of really in-depth segment a couple of weeks ago on peel and stick, so I won't get yeah. into it too much, but there's so many varieties and colors and everything that you can get. I actually bought a floor tile instead of oh, nice. um, like a wall tile. Yeah. And the, it's just easier to work with. You don't need really any special tools nice besides a knife and a ruler. Okay. Um, and we can kind of add those to the bar. So if you want to demonstrate, just peel, peel that right off the back. Okay. This is as easy as it is. That's and it. you could have gone with the regular backsplash peel and sticks, but Absolutely. you went for floor just because what? This I is like the, the pattern you like. on it. Yeah. It's easy to cut. It's easy to work with. So you just pop that in the back there. Look at that. Instant backsplash. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And the thing is now, say if we have two here, we're going to have a little piece left over. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to cut them here. So if you have your tile here, uh -huh. all you need is a piece of cardboard to protect your surface. Mm -hmm. We're going to grab something with a straight edge like a ruler so okay. you know where to cut it. And then all you need is your knife. So you're going to use a little, little bit of muscle. Mm -hmm. So that X-Acto knife is going to do the uh, trick. That's it. That's all you need. Because so it's do... super thin. That's it. And then... Oh, nice. Oh, and you've got your tile. Good. And you just pop it in the corner when you're ready. You peel it and stick it. Lovely. So just a little like rough measuring needed for that step. Yeah, a little bit. And then next up, what are so you doing? A couple more pieces to customize our bar. Okay. I can just check that here. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So what would a bar be without some beautiful wine glasses? Am I right? Yeah, let's so. do that. So we've got like a little hanging rack for the, for the glasses. Yes, so we've got this rack here. So we want to put some wine glasses on here so that it's not just a bookshelf anymore. And this guy, where'd you, did you make it? Did you paint it? Did you buy it? I got it from Amazon just like this. Beautiful. They come in black, they come in chrome. This one I got it's in gold because I wanted it to match everything. Yes. So I'm going to start us off here and put a few of these on. Nice. If you want to, do you want in. me to hold it at all? Or are you uh, good? She I has, think, she's got it. I she does I'm this okay. stuff all the time. Look at that. Very nice. So this is you get all. We also learned from Victoria Tonelli earlier. You get your good glasses, good and you ticket. hang them in your uh, beautiful wine rack that was created by you. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. It's it. It's fine. Yeah. 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 There yeah. we go. <laughs> Beautiful. And then the last thing I did to customize this bar is the hardware, the handles. Yes. So again, you can see the original handles here on yeah. the bookshelf. Just a little knob over there. Yeah. And These if you ones want, are pretty. If you want again, Amazon. They yes. come in different packs. Oh, look what's look inside. What the goods. Very nice. 
So what's nice about this is you've got the display area, but then you've also got your hidden storage. Yes. I mean, this has got the good stuff, but if you want to also just shove a whole bunch of stuff in there, you can. You totally can. Yeah. Um, okay, so should we hang this up? Yeah, let's get this on there. We'll and it's got the things bar. that we need. So we've got a bit of angle to slide it. Perfect. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. It. I'm going to pass you some of these. Okay. Yeah. Slide them in. Very nice. So this is your own DIY bar, like, and it's a gorgeous piece of furniture that I think is customizable. So if you actually wanted, uh, I would do wine and books, quite frankly. Right? Best combination. Why not? A few books in there, some wine, and this is a beautiful area that you can hang out in uh, because it's 5 p.m. Somewhere. 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 <laughs> Christian, thank you so much for this beautiful.